Hey, y'all, let's see, can I get this thing in my face? What's up? It's the blind bearded chef, Zeke. That is me. I'm using a new tripod. I hope this thing in my face. What's up, y'all? Getting ready to make a fruit cake. Had a customer wanted a fruit cake. Now, I don't eat other people's fruit cake, but I will eat this one because I make it. <laughs> and it's so hard to find the darn green cherries. Everybody wants to bought green cherries. So, I got um some red cherries in it. I have the uh, dry cherries. I got prunes, dates, apricot. What else I got in that thing? Prunes, grapes, apricot, raisins, um, um, cranberries, and... Um, orange zest, lemon zest. So let's put this cheesecake, not cheesecake, let's get this fruit cake together. And um, I looked at a few recipes. I like the Charlie Andrews recipe. I used some of his ideas and I used somebody else's ideas with the, with the lemon peel and orange peel. Because sometimes the stuff in the bag just, I don't know, just buy all this stuff. And this is a very expensive cake to make. All those separate fruits is expensive. So this is a very expensive cake, but if your customers want it, you make it. And they has got to pay the price accordingly. All right, let's get this together. I'm about to soak. I'm going to cut these fruits into pieces and um, these dry fruits. And I'm about to um, have it set for 24 hours in dark rum. Yeah, about a cup, about a cup of dark rum. And let it soak for 12, for 12, 24 hours. Okay, enough talking. Watch me make this um, dessert right quick. <laughs> All right, right there in my bowl, I have some cherries. I have some prunes. I have some dates. I have some avocado. I have some pineapples. I have some um, raisins. And I have some cranberries. And I got that soaking in a dark brown rum. And I'm going to let this soak overnight for 12 hours. And then I'll start on my fruit cake. All right, so that's the first step. Let all this sit overnight for about 12 to 24 hours. Okay. All right, y'all, my bowl right here. I have two and one half cups of all purpose flour. I have two teaspoons of baking powder. I have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of um, fresh nutmeg, and a half a teaspoon of allspice. So, mixing that all in my dry, and then in there, I'm about to zest one lemon, and I'm going to zest one orange. Um, when you buy the mix out that store, which I couldn't find any, so um, they have the orange and um, lemon peel candied in there, so I'm about to do my own. So, I got my microplane, I'm about to zest one lemon. All right, and let's zest this orange. So you pretty much need a tablespoon and a half, or you can do two tablespoons of orange zest and lemon zest. I think this smells good. If you buy the candy, the, the fruit cake mix in the store, it'll have lemon peel and orange peel candied in there with those candy fruits, but because I couldn't find them, I had to do my own fruits, soaking in that room. All right, throw all that together. I'm about to put this to the side. Now let's get our liquids together, okay? All right, let's get these wet ingredients together. Let me get my one fourth cup, okay? One fourth cup of um, pineapple juice, or you can use one fourth cup of um, orange juice. I'm gonna use some sweet dough pineapple juice. One fourth cup of that. One fourth cup of dark rum. Okay. One fourth cup of that. Um, I need um. I need one third cup of milk or heavy whipping cream. I'm using heavy whipping cream. So you need one third cup of that. Okay. Got 
good enough. And I'm going to need two tablespoons of molasses. So I'm going to get my tablespoon right here. That's one. Now my molasses is sticky. And that is two. So mix all this together, and this is your, your liquid. I'm also got y'all, I need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm using vanilla bean paste because it gives more flavor. So I'm using two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste. Okay. That's one. Okay, and that's two. All right, in this bowl right here, I have two sticks of softened butter. I'm about to put in one cup of white sugar and one cup of light brown sugar. And I'm about to mix this for about five to six minutes. Okay. Let's clean this together. All right, about to put in four large eggs. So we're gonna crack one egg. Crack in a bowl first to make sure you don't get no shells in there. And make sure that the egg is okay. Okay. So you see, after it's creamed up, let's put in the first egg. And we're going to mix that in there for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to add the next one. So four eggs. We're going to do that four times. Right. Got my four eggs in there. Now I'm about to do three intervals of dry, wet, dry, wet, dry, wet. So I'm going to put about a, some of my dry in there, like that. A little dry and a little wet. And I'm going to do that three times. All right. All right. So there go the batter. It's all together. Now, the fruits. I'm about to put the um, fruits that have been soaking in rum in there. So I'm about to put that in there. I'm just gonna fold that in. Okay. So let's fold that in right quick. That's my spatula. Okay. All right, got all the fruits in there. I left a few of the red cherries out to decorate the top. And now I have a half a cup of pecans and a half a cup of walnuts. I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm going to leave a few out so I can spread them on top also. Okay. Fold that in. Okay. Let's see. After you fold this in, this is your fruitcake batter. I'm going to set my oven to 325. I'm going to put this. Now, this will make two loaves. This will make two um, fruitcake loaves, or this will make one two pan. So I'm putting this in a two pan, and this is going to bake for about between an hour and an hour and 20 minutes on 325. All right, let me get my pan together. Look at my two pan. I sprayed it with Pam um, to get the pan with the flour. Then I take some extra flour, and I dust it to make sure it's going to come out. And I'm just going to take my ice cream scoop. And I'm about to fill it up. This is, um, fruitcake is always a dense cake. So it doesn't rise that high. Even though you have baking powder in it. Okay, so let me fill this up. I'll be right back. All right, got it in there. Now you want to take your extra fruit and stuff. And just scatter it on top like that. Cause right here, your top gonna stay your top. Once you flip it, the top won't be the bottom. The bottom will be the bottom, and this top will be the top. So take that extra fruit, fruit cake mix, and just sprinkle it on top. Then we're gonna put some pecans and walnuts, then some cherries. All right, be right back. All right, I had it in there for an hour and ten minutes. I took it out, the toothpick came out clean, and there we go. 
I'm about to let this cool for about four hours before I flip it over. And I'm going to spray some rum on it. And I'm going to make a rum glaze to go on top of it. Okay. There we go. Y'all see it? Hope I got my camera. This is new iPhone 15, so no telling how I got this camera. <laughs> I'm still learning it. Okay, there you go. Okay, there go the cake. I flipped it over on the plate so you can see how the bottom look. Now I'm about to flip it back over. All right, there go the fruit cake. I then sprayed it with rum. This is for a customer for tomorrow. And later on, I spray it about two more times with some rum. Then I'll make a little glaze, rum glaze to go on top of it. But it's good and moist. Um, I did make a little sample one. And I'll show y'all me giving a taste test in a few minutes. All right. So let me wrap this cake. And then I'm going to unwrap it in about four hours. And I'm going to spray it again with some more rum or some more brandy or bourbon all right all right look y'all all right oh i also want to thank mr charlie andrews for helping me make this um this um fruit cake i took some of his ideas from his channel to make it all right all right y'all did y'all see me make that thing let me take this off hey 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 i'm back so I made that cake for him, for the customer that came got it. I didn't have a chance to make the rum glaze, so I pretty much just sprayed it with rum, all rum, 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 and uh, it didn't need any glaze on it. So I made a little sample. See, I made a little sample piece. As y'all can see, look at it. I'm going to Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Moist. Delicious. I like drinking mine some milk. Mm. Mm hmm. Baby, that rum is all over it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Y'all see me make it. Go make you one. <laughs> Bye, y'all.